Welcome to New Gameplay Today, our new video series where we look at new games. I'm Kyle Hilliard, filling in for Jeff Cork. Jeff Cork will be the typical host for this video series, but he's off on a secret mission. Leo Vader, you're here with me. Thank you. And this is actually you playing Destiny 2 on PC. It's actually me. Look at the E3 walk I'm doing, taking in the environments. Oh, look at that. That's, is that what they call it? The E3 walk. Yeah, I, I love think it. so. Yeah, and uh, so Bungie actually flew you out to the studios, your first uh, solo bolo they loved trip. They so much. It was a solo bolo trip. I yeah. had a great time. Beautiful city up there in Bellevue. Yeah. Great time at the studio. And I am not a Destiny guy. I guess I'll say that right away. Do I it. played a good bit of the first one. Didn't super fall in love with it. But I am a big playing PC games with friends guy. <laughs> oh, you're one of those weirdos. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and Destiny 2 very much impressed me in that respect. Yeah. And like just the mouse and keyboard controls alone are so... They change the game so much for me. There's so much more agility and precision. It's so much more interesting to play for me than it was on console. Okay. And you feel... I mean, I guess you could say this about any mouse and keyboard game. But, like, you feel like you have more precision. You have better aim. Like... But I don't know, do you think they've balanced the game in a, in a way to account for that? Or is it still pretty much, probably still pretty much the same balance of shooting and stuff like that, I imagine? We got to talk to them, the PC developers, a little bit, and they seemed very adamant that there's almost no differences. Okay. You know, besides behind the scenes, infrastructure differences, obviously. Well, of course, yeah. But it's balanced pretty well by itself already because console has the uh, auto-aim or aim assist. Yeah. And basically not having that and having to zero in on everybody, I don't know, it's a minor thing, but since you're that's all you're doing the entire game, it really feels substantial to me. Yeah. And so what we're looking at now, this is a story mission. That's right. right. Yes. Okay. On Nessus. This On is Nessus. one of the story missions. I remember playing this one. Yeah? It looks a lot similar. Which I, no a, kidding. With more frames per second. <laughs> How many more frames per second? Twice as many frames Twice per second. Twice as more frames per is second. That, is that math correct? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay. This is 60 frames per second, 4K footage, oh my God. settings on medium to high. You guys got all four of those Ks, huh? All four of those Ks, yes. Uh, for anybody curious about the PC settings and stuff like that, I had aim smoothing on mm -hmm. to just make the, the aiming look a little better. And then I had depth of field off. I'm not a big depth of field guy. Kyle, Okay. is that okay? It's fine with me. Um, okay. But if you really think that Leo made the wrong choice here, let him know in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> was there a little Roomba guy there? They talked about some other things, about how it's going to be day and date DLC, you know? Oh, okay. With well, the so, console. so even though the PC version of the game is coming out later than the console, the DLC will not. Right. The raid oh, will cool. be a week behind, just like it was for console, but then after that, everything's coming out at the same clip, which is cool. Yeah. That's... When did you brainwash me, by the way? Oh, did they? I don't like this game. <laughs> <You don't? laughs> they injected me with a serum where I say nice things about it. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, it's weird that this is how you're revealing it to me while we're recording this video. <laughs> but, okay. we'll, we'll cut this out unless I forget to. <laughs> always. Oh, that's always a good promise. But we were playing with uh, i7 processors and 1080 Ti graphics cards. How did they have you guys set up? Just like, uh, were you guys all in a room? Like, were you playing with other people at the same time? Yes, right? it was okay. like 16 people in a room with computers, and we were kind of on a server where we would all be constantly bumping into each other and all get match made automatically for okay. Crucible and stuff, which cool. there's a Crucible match coming up later. Interested. Which, okay, yeah. And we should mention, if you're watching this video and maybe you just want to see straight gameplay of the PC version of Destiny 2, uh, we're kind of, the, the latter part of this video, we're just going to let it... Just let it ride. Yeah, once you run out of stuff to talk about, we're just going to give you that sweet 4K footage yeah, you, so you deserve. Can, so you can watch it without uh, mine and Leo's voice. Yes, if you exactly. So choose. Let's see. What else is worth mentioning? Uh, there's a diff It's a different button to get off the Sparrow as it is to get on it, which oh. is illegal, and I did perform a citizen's arrest <laughs> on David Shaw <laughs> as soon as I discovered that. They, that's it's criminal. That is very strange. Okay. Yeah, you like press jump to hop off it, and then E to get on it. What is oh, that? Come on. E doesn't even work. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Why does <laughs> it do nothing? What? <laughs> but you can rebind controls. I assume you can. Oh rebind wait, that. you didn't mention that. Oh yeah, you can rebind. So you arrested controls. a man for something that you could have fixed on your own. <laughs> <laughs> the, the world is a better place with those ideas behind bars. All right. Okay. No, I agree with you there. The only key, key binding I did was a uh, melee to middle mouse. That's something I pretty much always do. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Thank you. Uh, I, again, I'm not a Destiny guy. I don't know if I was doing the right thing about uh, disabling the shield there. I think I was using an energy Look, weapon. Is he dead? He's dead. Then you, you're good. He's man. dead, and you know what? I'm alive. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
Shows him. A uh, V-Sync was on for this to lock it at 60 frames. When we uncapped mm. it, it was hovering more around 85, okay. 90. And I know there was concern in the beta because Digital Foundry ran some tests on it, found the FPS counter in-game uh, was inaccurate. I forget if it was inflating or deflating the number, but they they were asked about that in the Q&A, and they said they have fixed that. Okay. And they said that Digital Foundry video was very informative for them, <laughs> oh, yeah. which is that's how good those guys are. Well, they know what they're doing over there. They really do. But yeah, here I am shooting. Good job. Thank you. Uh, do you die? Well, I guess I could I could just watch. I was going to ask you if you died at all. It seems like you're doing well. I'm not sure if I left in any deaths. Let's it find looked, out. It looks sharp, I got to say. Uh, I, like I said, I've been playing on PS4, and it's a great looking game there as well. But uh, mm -hmm. it, it those those guys look uh, that much scarier. Uh, <laughs> Chilling, yeah. Yeah. Playing as a warlock here. I use my healing rift. But yeah, not only is the mouse and keyboard a big factor and the controls feeling better to me personally as a primarily PC player, yeah. but the frame rate just makes everything feel so much tighter and more deliberate. It feels like you're reacting to stuff quicker. Jeff Cork, uh, host of G New Gameplay Today. I don't know if you checked that I've out heard on GameFormer.com. Yeah. But he's he's always been adamant that releasing a shooter at 30 frames per second is, uh, <laughs> what's his word? Probably pointless? I, yeah, he, he seen, he, yeah, FPSs should only be in 60 FPS. PS, is yeah, what I think you said. Yeah, I some I feel like I wouldn't go that extreme just because you know I'm a nice guy, <laughs> but it's really it's really true. It, uh, I really it find helps. it hard to play first person shooters that are 30 frames. But I'm just a, I'm also a little baby little baby boy <laughs> with a pinky and a blanket. So <laughs> who plays uh, first person shooters at 60 FPS only? Yeah, and who's also a, who loves playing PC games with his friends? Yeah, yeah, you would. Hey man, come on. But yeah, I'm really ready for this game. I think it's it plays amazing on PC, and it's the place to play it if you have the option. When does it come out? Well, that's a great question. It comes out tomorrow, uh, October 24th. On PC. On PC. Available on Blizzard's Battle.net. Yeah, not going to be on Steam, right? Which is uh, just Battle.net, right? Just Battle.net, yeah. yeah. Activision. It's a big deal. First non-Blizzard game on Battle.net. But I am, I'm very happy that we're going to have that infrastructure, and I don't have to re-add everybody on the friends list. I guess I wouldn't have to if it was on Steam. Yeah. But... Either way, very excited. Again, you're getting upset about things that you could fix yourself. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> but uh, we got time codes in the description if you want to skip to the most interesting parts. We've got a strike coming up later and then one Crucible match. Which Crucible still a pointless waste of everyone's time. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a pretend game mode where people take turns one-shotting each other. And uh, it's, uh, it sucks, and I won't be playing it. Yeah, but, but if you want to watch Leo play it, that's an option. That's right. And I'm not just mad because I lost, although I think I did lose. That clip. <laughs> anyway, any other questions for me? Uh, no. No? There were quicker load screens. Oh, but okay. we also were playing off a solid state drive, which might not be an option for a lot of people. So Yeah, so you're talking about like going between planets and stuff like that, Yeah, right? in orbit, okay. in a crucible. That nice. kind of stuff was a lot quicker. That's nice. Yeah, it was nice. There is a like a custom intro for players uh, that are just coming to the series for the first time and that was the case with Destiny 2 on console as well except a lot of people didn't see it because they did play Destiny 1 but there's no like cross linking the accounts or anything so yeah. everybody on PC is going to see that and it's just like a quick well drawn summary of the first game I of guess Destiny 1. apparently there were events in the first one and story things that happened, which was kind of really? cool to learn about. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Who knew? News to me. Yeah. Uh, no, but that is nice to, I mean, because that that is true. Like, there are a, a huge base of the Destiny 2 players on PC will have not touched Destiny 1, just purely because they probably... If they're, like, yeah, PC-only players. Yeah, they exist. They exist. They're out there. God, you're looking around so quickly and with such accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wow. I really cannot overemphasize how much fun it is to play with this kind of precision. And which I, when I say precision like that, it seems like I'm a super precise gamer. Which, as you can see, is maybe not true. Yeah. But it certainly feels better. Well, you're just more comfortable with mouse and keyboard, right? Yeah, in certain, in certain hey, occasions. Hey, I'm not like a mouse and keyboard supremacist or anything. There are certain yeah. games that definitely play better with console. Is there actually, I mean, here's, controller. here's a question. Do you, Can you plug in a controller? Do they have like yes, default setting for that? Okay. You can hot swap, you know? It'll take the most recent input and put those inputs on the screen. You know, you okay. press the keyboard or replace them with those inputs. So theoretically, you could do the thing where you have the controller in one hand with the joystick and then the mouse in your right hand. Mm, okay. Or vice versa. They said that would work. All right. I mean, that I, that's not an insane way to Again, play. Again, those people are out there. Hey, you you <laughs> invert your aiming controls. You know, there are all, kind of, all kinds of sick freaks out on this are planet. Are you going to arrest me for that? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Is that how this I'm video ends? Yeah, <laughs> you're 
going away for a long time. No. <laughs> I can change. Uh, hey, you picked up the CPU. Yes, I did. Eek. No North is back? Finally. Finally, Nolan North doing a voice in a video game. It's about, about time. time. How do you feel? You miss Dinklage? No. I don't miss Dinklage. <laughs> no. Of course not. I like Peter Dinklage. I actually don't think he's that great an actor, generally speaking. Okay. Maybe a controversial thing to say, even in Game of Thrones. I think he's one of the weaker actors in that show, but I enjoy him as a person and think he's very funny and entertaining, and I like watching him. Uh-huh. So. He was good on 30 Rock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Elf. Remember Elf? Elf? Yeah, he was an Elf. Elf? Uh, no, Elf with an E. Elf? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Elf with, with Will Ferrell. We'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> this is the famous tank sequence. Oh, yeah, from Halo 3. Two, one. Reach? Go. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't remember if Halo 2 had a tank like sequence like that. I guess it did. I, I mean, 3 and three and 1 had the big, more, more memorable ones for sure. Mm -hmm. but, uh, this was a this was cool to see this when I was playing Destiny 2. I was like, ah, oh, it feels like a callback to like to Halo in a fun way. Yeah, a classic. And I believe Mr. Shaw himself said he prefers this segment with a controller. No, oh, okay, that's interesting. As just an example of how mouse and keyboard isn't always. The uh, yeah, just the idea of like switching between two control types in the middle of a game, like that'd be weird. To yeah, be, like, they talked about doing that for like a Sparrow, which seems I don't know unrealistic, but maybe yeah. it would be fun. Yes, I always daydream about having a racing wheel ready in Grand Theft Auto that I just pick <laughs> just up whenever I get in a car. You have to get up out of your seat and like get into <laughs> yeah. a, your and racing wheel setup. I have like setup. a like half of a car built like <laughs> yeah, from exactly. a movie set, and I have to open the door and get inside. This is something you've talked about a lot and are working on, if I'm if I understand correctly. That's correct. Yes, I'm putting the money together. You can crowdfund me at <laughs> one of those websites. <laughs> at one of those websites. dot com. That's right. Uh, can't overstate how ready I am for this game. Yeah, okay, so it, it's out now on PC. Probably if it's you're watching tomorrow. this video, out tomorrow. Okay, so it's out tomorrow. And um, yeah, we liked Destiny 2 a lot. So if you're a PC person and you haven't played it yet, this is the way to go. You should check it out. It's a good game. Now's your chance. And if you want to see more footage, enjoy the rest of the video. Please do. And watch more episodes of new gameplay today on GameInformer.com or our YouTube channel. You'll probably usually hear Jeff Cork's voice, and he's a lot funnier than I am. So it'll be it'll be good, I promise. Uh -huh. Hit that subscribe button. I don't feel like we ever ever say that, but oh, yeah, you do should that. probably hit it. Yeah, please hit it. I mean, click it. Don't punch your monitor. Click the subscribe. Or do button, you know? You're a PC gamer. You can do whatever the <laughs> f you want. That's how, that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, thanks, Leo. Thank you. Open. Anything we should know as we go in? The Genesis Mine worked tirelessly to block my fire team's advance on his terminus. He reconfigured reality itself to stop us.
It would not surprise me in the least if he intends to employ the same strategy with you, Assistant. Reality seems pretty well configured in here, but we'll keep our eye out. Ikora, you were right about the Taken in here. I expected to. Don't let them distract you from finding the Genesis mine. We'll deal with them another time. Guardian down. I wish Ares had not left us. She would have theories about what the Taken want with the Vex. in town. Guardian down. You've never told me about your fire team, Asher. What is there to say? Hunters, the both of them. I hired them for an earlier expedition, and we stuck together. Until we didn't.
Asher studying data on your current position. I believe he said impossible. Oh, 12 times and counting? Here, I'll patch him in. Impossible. Impossible? But could it? No, 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 that, that's impossible. Impossible! Why? What could govern such an impossible discrepancy? Asher just stepped away. He's referencing no fewer than five of his own books on the Pyramidian. And I'm not sure which I can use to guide you. Existential Tyranny Part 1. Uh, negation and Identity Vex Transformation Mechanisms. Oh, this is why I prefer applied research. through a gate and now we're looking at a scary bottomless pit what there is no pit only the fractal shores of a radiolarian lake this is nothing like asher's stories of the pyramidian this is clearly some kind of trap Some kind of interdimensional terminal. A synthoneural terminus. You're on Brachion's doorstep. Inform the Genesis mind that it has guests.
down. Guardian down. down. Genesis mind is no more. Bring me its arm. I wish to hang it in a place of honor. If it's been destroyed, bring me the ashes. I have constructed an urn for them. Control. 
I know you can fight, but can you hold territory? Zone C lost. You captured Zone B. Zone C captured. You have zone advantage. Zone B lost. Zone A captured. You have advantage. Zone A lost. Zone A captured. You have advantage. Zone C lost. Only five minutes left. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is yours. You captured zone C. Power play. Keep the pressure on. Zone B lost. Zone C lost. B captured. You have advantage. <laughs> Zone B lost. Zone C captured. You have advantage. <laughs> Zone A lost. It's time, Guardian. Crush them.
three minutes remaining. Zone C lost. Your enemy has a power play. Lost the lead. You captured Zone A. Don't see captured. You have advantage. Zone A lost. You captured Zone B. You have advantage. Zone C lost. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone B lost. One minute. Hit them hard. Zone B captured. You have advantage. Two for one. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs> Zone B lost. Fire team that fights together stays together. Ten seconds. You're defeated. Fight again. Persistence is key. The zones are your life, Guardian. Keep fighting. You'll get it. <laughs>